Hi everyone, this is Crew Doug again. What I'm going to show you today, okay, is how to change out LCD screens on a digital camera. This one here, okay, is a different one. Now, I've got two of them. One of them I use as a parts camera. The other one I'm using for this one here, I'll show you. This is the one that I just got. See that screen? How it's uh, pretty well bang, banged up pretty bad. This one also has a front screen. It's pretty well trashed too, as you can see. So what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to change out the screen to show you how it works. Now what I've got is I've got a second camera. i got a bunch of cameras, but the second camera here is one that I had and I have a part on order for it. But in the meantime, see on the bottom of this one here, you got that black spot right there. That's a dead spot. And over in here too, those are like dead spots too. The front screen on this one here, okay. See, it works pretty good. So... That's a children's mode for if you have a small kid, you want to take pictures and you want the, you know, the, the, the baby or whatever to laugh. Instead of sitting there with a little toy in your hand, squeaking and squeaking, you just push that. And uh, it works. So, I'm going to be using the uh, pause screen here a lot because I want to save on time. So the first thing that we're going to do, okay, is we remove the power source do that for two reasons. One, so you won't inadvertently hit the button and have that lens pop out. And while you're working on it, you don't want to have power going through there. Now, it's only like a, what, a 3.7 volt battery. But the flash device in here stores up to 300 volts in a, in a capacitor. It can give you quite a, quite a surprise if you hit it the wrong way. So what I'm going to do first, okay, is I'm going to pull out the screws on both of these cameras. And I'll do that real quick. I'll do a couple of them here just to show you what all is involved. Then I'm going to pause it. Because I need to save on time. Because on YouTube here you can only do so much. So you just take your little screwdriver. And you just remove the screws. Easy to do. See, look at that. This one okay has got two screws on the bottom. Two, oops, two screws on the side, two on the bottom right there. On the other side, you got two more screws. Now, when you pull these out, okay, one of these screws is, is smaller than the other one. The reason why is because you have your battery that goes into here. You get a screw that's too long, it's going to hold up and it's going to bind on that battery. So when you pull them out, watch which ones you pull out. If you get a short one, put the short one back in where it's supposed to go. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems. All right, so I'm going to pull the screws out of both of these cameras. All right, I got my last one right now. I'm going to pull. I have one of these screws that was really in there, but I was able to pull it out. All right, got all of our screws out now. See, those two are gone. Those two are gone, and those two are gone. Okay, what we're going to do? Well, this is this is the bad camera. Okay. Open your battery door and just hold it. Get this out of the way. And just find somewhere that you can pull. And you're going to separate the body. And you're not going to break it. You might think you are, but you're not going to break it. you got to find where the halves go together. to find this one's really in there here we go all right now you gotta watch also okay right here I've got this one set on the, on the smart because you have to line that back up when you're done see that little piece that just popped out there not a problem That was 
glued in there pretty good. It's the first time this has ever been out. All right, that's gone. Here's your LCD screen. This is the main bottom one. See that one there, how it's all banged up and everything? For whatever reason, okay, somebody hit this thing a lot. A little bar that's up in here, okay? You can see where the, what they call a, the ribbon connector. Right here is a little black bar. With your fingernail or whatever, pop that up. That's all you got to do. One little pop, and that just pulls, pulls out. Okay? That's the bad one. You can see right here, okay, where this is pretty well dinged up in there, too. So somebody, for whatever reason, okay, purposely went in there and did a pretty good job of banging it up. And we're going to take out these screws. Now, I've got a magnetic screwdriver. If you don't have a magnetic screwdriver, I've got one more right here with a little magnet tip on the end. So you want to have one hanging around. Okay, this one only had the one screw there. So what we do is you just pry up on it. And just wiggle it around. You're not, you're not going to break it. Wiggle it around until it pops out. This one's got a little bit of tape spots on the bottom here, okay? So that's what was holding it in place. But, okay, put that off on the side. Now, normally, if you're only going to be changing out the one, the main LCD, you don't have to pull out this device here. But because we are going to be, be removing the front screen, the connector for that, okay, is right here. And we got to pull the front of the camera off to get to it. So we're just going to pop up on that with your fingernail. Make sure it's up, which it is. Then, you're going to pry off the front. Okay, now there's the other part. Now watch this. You hear all that noise in there? Crackling and everything else? And that little bar is up there. I think it's up. Yeah, it's up. And you just got to reach in there with something. I use a, there's another regular little size here. And you just pry up on here and you pop it out. Just like that. See? And then this now should... Look at that. Okay. There's the front, front face plate. That's pretty well banged up too. And your strip. Now, you can elect if you wanted to, okay, just to get this part, the LCD only. That just fits in there. It's a kind of, not glue, but it's got an adhesive in it that holds it in place. Now, what I'm going to do, okay, and I've already done, is through eBay, somebody had for sale, okay, just this front part along with the LCD already installed. This LCD by itself you can buy off eBay. Average price is about 20 bucks. Somebody has got the whole thing on there and it is guaranteed supposedly for 13 bucks. So that's what I've done. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to now take the camera that I know is good. Remember we saw that one working before? I've got the screws on that one already pulled out, okay? So I'm going to do the same exact thing on this one, okay? I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to pull out that other piece there. So stand by one. Okay, I got that now. I got the other one off right here. Okay, now, as you can see, there's a little groove, a little spot right there. I'll use my screwdriver here. Right there. Where that ribbon connector has to fit through there. It slides through. Once you get it slid, you got to work it, put it into here, and then you have to lock that bar in place. So I'm going to do that. I'll be back in just a minute. Well, you won't even see it, but I'll be. I'm going to get it in there right now. All right. 
you put it in through there like I just got through doing and then these little tabs on the side, I don't know if you can see them or not. Just use your screwdriver and just kind of push up on those to make sure that that little rip and strips all the way in there. You got that little white, double white line right there. That's your indication, okay, that you're in there and you're good to go. This little bar now flips down. That locks it into place. Now that has to be there. Because if it's not locked down, believe me, it's not going to work. Yeah, oh, almost. I don't know if that's down or not. All right. Then you're going to put your this device, okay, back on here again. That's why it's very important to watch how this thing comes apart. Make sure you do it right. I'm going to take our little screw now. And you make sure when you pull these things apart, make sure that you know which screw is where. After you do these for a little while, you kind of figure out which one goes where and how it works and everything else so you don't screw it up. And that just goes right in there. And screws in place. All right, now we're going to take, see this is the bad one. You see all the little things in there? You know it's bad. And all the little things in the back, that's bad. This one's a, this is a good one, even though it's got a couple dead spots in it. It's good to go. So I'm going to install this. Same thing. I hope I can do this without having to pause it. That just fits in there. This is bent. Okay, a new one that you get one new, and I got two of them on order, but I don't have them yet. I just want to do this to make sure this camera's going to work before I invest any more money into it. We're just going to take it apart and just sell it for parts. You just put that in there. Then once you get that in, make sure it's all the way seated in there, too. You flip down that bar. There we go. Make sure that bar is all the way down there. Because if it's not down, believe me, like I said before, it's not going to work. All right. Okay, that's all the way in there now. I'm going to move this up a little bit. There we go. That just folds into place. Now make sure that none of that ribbon... It's hanging over here, because if it is, that's going to interfere with your other button there. Now remember that one button fell out. Right here. That goes in here. That's for your selection. For It says OK and for Enter. So I'm going to line that back up, put it back in place. And you see those little tabs right here. There's a little, like one thing, one right there. That's where it goes into it. It doesn't click. It just goes on there. So let me choose that real quick. All right. Got that. Now, remember, where you were at, it's on where it really has it's on smarts where I had it lined up at. Because this here and that little alignment tab, little hole, have to be on the same thing for it to work. Just put the halves together until it snaps. See, that works. The only thing you left now to do is to put in the screws to hold it together. What I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to put the screws in. All right. Now we're all set. See, all the screws are in. Those two are in. Those two are in. Make, make sure that you also can uh, color coordinate them. This one here, okay, on the bottom, where that battery door is at, that's not just a short one. So make sure that you when put it together. You put the right battery in the right place. Now we're going to put this battery back in here again, power source. And if everything works right, uh-oh, look at that. It, it works good. Now, let's try the front one now. It, that's me right there, right? Okay. Okay, there's the one for the kids okay but notice there's 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 no sound 
That's not, not really a problem yet. I'll show you why. Come back into here, and you hit your menu button right up on there. Okay. We're going to go on the sounds. And see where it says children's sounds on the bottom? That's on three. The volume probably. The better. Yeah, I see the volume's off. We'll turn the volume on now. Put it on to medium. Let's go back down to children again. That's what I had before. Let's do a different one this time. Okay. Hit the menu button again, and that will clear all that out. Let's go ahead and try this again now. Okay. The first one you do okay is for a self-portrait. In case you wanted to take a picture of yourself or whatever else, that's what you do that one for. And then here... has all those weird sounds so the kids can see that they're going to smile without you having to do all kinds of weird things. Anyway, that, my friends, is how you change out the LCD screens on the front and the rear. This is a Samsung TL205 dual screen digital camera. These things sell new for about oh, anywhere from $140 to $180. This one, okay, you can buy them used on eBay if they work properly for about $65 to $70. Bucks. This one here, okay, for the camera, and as you saw, I tore the other one apart, which it's still, it's still torn apart pretty good, so it's all the way down. Okay. But I got the camera. Uh, I got another LCD screen on order for the other one, and remember, I've got this front portion, the whole thing ordered for it. So my total investment, okay, in this digital camera here that I can now sell on eBay because it works. Uh, my total investment in this camera right now is about $28. Not bad, huh? Most people, when you have a camera like that to where the screen's broken or it doesn't work, whatever else, you're going to give a call to uh, Samsung. They're going to say, okay, I already checked it out. $89 to do a diagnosis. If they have to change out both the rear and the front LCD, your bill is going to be anywhere from $180 to $240. You can buy a very new camera for that or fix it yourself. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope all this fits on the eBay, uh, enough time, or the eBay, on the YouTube. So until next time, this is Crew Dog out.